Have you ever struggled with knowing who you are or what you're even doing in the kingdom of God? Today, I'm going to share how God replaced every lie of who I thought I needed to be with the truth of who I am. Hi, I'm Shana Chinyanta, and this is Daughter Rising. So a little backstory about me. I was born and raised in a small town in South Carolina. And growing up, I always knew deep down inside that there was more than what I was seeing around me. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but being one of those girls that grew up, got married, and had kids was not really in the plans. (laughs) I remember consistently asking the father to reveal who he was and to reveal his truth to me because I had felt like most of my life growing up he was misrepresented so I was so hungry to get to know who he actually was. After asking and asking and searching um, I started going to a different church uh, where I started leading worship and then I started moving in circles that were different than anything I had known before. The people were different than any people I had known before. They walked in power and authority that I had never seen before. And being around that community, my hunger grew and grew and grew until I found out about this group in Huntington Beach, California, um, under the mission YWAM or Youth with a Mission called Circuit Riders. And when I first heard about them, I said, God, that is the craziest thing that you could ever ask me to do. (laughs) And just like God usually does, that's exactly what he asked me to do. So um, in 2018, I packed up and I moved from South Carolina to California and became a missionary with circuit riders. My life was totally changed by that experience. After about six months with circuit riders, the father asked me to quit being a missionary and just live there, live in Huntington Beach and get a job. And so I did that. I got a job as a chiropractic assistant, which was amazing. I loved that season of my life. And then as most or some young single girls do, I started dating someone (laughs) and that someone turned out to be my incredible husband, Cass. We dated for seven months before getting married. And shortly after we got married, we realized that if we wanted to live together and ever see each other and not work all the time, um, maybe we should think about moving. And when we looked at rental prices in uh, my hometown versus Huntington Beach, it was kind of a no-brainer for us. So we packed up my Nissan Sentra and we moved across the country to South Carolina. At first, living in South Carolina was so peaceful and a much needed respite after the crazy pace of California. Soon though, I began to feel like I wasn't doing anything and I began to ask myself, what is my purpose? Like, what am I even doing? And I was so in that mindset of self-pity that I wasn't even listening to God for an answer. And then I became a mom and that was incredible and is incredible. And I love my precious daughter And I threw myself into being a housewife and a mom. And those thoughts kind of went to the 
back burner of my very full mind. <laughs> For a little while, at least. Soon, though, those thoughts were back, and honestly, I didn't even recognize myself in the mirror. I was like, whoa, like so quickly I became a wife and a mom and a housewife and I'm not working and I'm not a missionary and who am I? I, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I was doing with my life. Um, and it And it wasn't like I was bored or I was unhappy with my circumstances because I wasn't. I love being a wife and I love being a mom. I just didn't know how my old self fit into this new narrative. You know what I mean? So I went back to the place where I had always felt safe. Mom or pre-mom, married or single. I always felt safe in my heavenly father's arms. And he told me something that I knew, but I didn't really know. He said, Shayna, who made you feel like you were only worth something when you were accomplishing something? He said, would it be okay with you if you were just my daughter? Or do you need other titles? to make you feel worthy. And that was like <laughs> a gut punch, right? But I realized through his gentle, loving rebuke <laughs> that I had been prideful about my accomplishments, about what I was doing for Jesus and, and that I was basing my identity in what I was doing for Jesus rather than who I was in Jesus. I realized that my identity is not in wife or mom or missionary or <laughs> not missionary because I wasn't anymore. I realized that my identity was in Jesus and in nothing else. My identity is daughter and anything else compared to daughter of the Most High King just does not measure up. Don't get me wrong, laborers are great. We need laborers bringing in the harvest. But when laborer becomes our identity, we actually cheapen ourselves to slave instead of royal daughter or royal priesthood like it says in first peter first peter says you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood that's first peter 2 9. we're not just the father's hired help we're not just laborers we are his daughters and sons for any of those guys out there that are still with us <laughs> thank you for being here <laughs> But that is my identity. My identity is in Jesus. It's not in what I do, but in who I am and who he's called me to be. If I couldn't do a thing for Jesus, he would still love me just the same and he would still call me his daughter. There's nothing I could do. There's no accomplishment that I could accomplish that would make him love me more or be more proud of me. And there's no sin or anything I could do that would make him love me less. He doesn't love me because of what I do. He loves me because of who I am. I'm his daughter and you are too. So arise, daughter, take your place. There is a crown that he has placed on your head that no one can take from you. It can't be stolen. 
you can't lose it it's there because it's your identity when you feel worthless there's still a crown there when you feel hopeless there's still a crown there when you feel like you don't measure up there's still a crown on your head it may be crooked and that's okay so daughter arise straighten that crown lift up your head and take on today like the royal daughter that you are.